it is official. I'm going to collect a con. I have to head to Los Angeles very soon. But I will be heading to Collecticon on November 2nd and 3rd. I live right side outside Houston. I have God knows how much sealed product, including Evolving Skies ETBs. I have the Fusion Strike ETB, the Pokemon edition, the really amazing looking Mew, the blue Mew. And I want to sell everything. So I want to sell everything at TCG Player minus 20%. So whatever TCG player, I don't want to use mids. I guess like last sold would make sense if you buy a few thousand dollars of cards. I also have vintage, I have singles. I have to do a really good job. Again, I'm going to Los Angeles to film a podcast. Uh, if you're into Rolexes, it is a relatively large podcast. And... I won't have as much time as I really wanted to film all the things I want to film. So, hmm. I will try my best, though. But I have unlimited blisters of all the recent sets of... Is it Sword and Shield? No, it's something else. Whatever Evolving Sky set was. Uh, that block. And I have a lot of magic boxes. I'm going to try to show them all off. And then, you know, just having a simple price. TCG player last sold. Assuming it is a valid sale. So again, if I'm selling an English Black Lotus, I would want uh, that price. Or if I'm... Oh, that doesn't make sense because it's not... Oh, if I was selling a English Tabernacle of Pendlehaven then I would want the English price. I wouldn't want the last price sold, which might be Italian, right? Those are two different cards. I had to keep explaining this to people who think they're a type of sharks, right? I have as much sealed product as you could ever imagine. I live in Houston. I will be at Collecticon. Uh, my job, so I... Very interesting. I'm going to have a blog series on my other channel soon, and it's going to be like unemployed. I worked my ass off for 11 years made a shit ton of money and now because i have a baby daughter i want to spend more time with her and my family so i've decided to take uh potentially the rest of the year off if not uh, two years three years i have i'm sitting on like half a million dollars in cash right now with over 2.5 million in investments and i thought hey why not uh just sell some pokemon cards or magic cards in the meantime Anyway, uh, let me know if you're coming to CollectorCon Houston. I will be happy to wheel and deal. I have Weiss cards. I got Evolving Skies at the Wazoo. I have so much Evolving Skies. It will blow your mind. I got Fusion Strike. I have uh, Lost Thunder. I have all the, those sets that you want. All those sets that have become extremely valuable. I have because I've just been sitting on them. Nothing's happened. I've just been sitting on them. Typically, I would open them. But uh, for whatever reason, I didn't have the time because I have a baby now. I didn't have the time or motivation to open them. And suddenly they became super valuable. I also have vintage boxes. I'm sitting on uh, two cases of unbroken bonds. Uh, open. All, these are open, so they're loose boxes. I'm sitting on probably 20 cases of Modern Horizons. Loose. I'm sitting on multiple cases of War of the Spark. Any card you can imagine, I have, and I would be happy to meet you uh, at my home or at Chase. My garage actually opens. We're going to do this Halloween theme. Uh, so my garage, if you don't know, I paid an artist a shit ton of money to draw the evolutions, and it's a beautiful thing. So we're going to have kids come up and get candy there. I think it would be kind of cute uh, to do it that way, and then they take photos of it. It's a big deal every year. Uh, anyway, that is it. I will be at Collecticon selling for TCG player, last sold, minus 20%. Basically 80% of comps. Assuming the condition and the language and so on is the same. I think that's pretty damn good in my opinion. Because last sold is obviously someone thought that was the price for it. And that's what they paid for it. Now again, the shipping thing, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to calculate that because you're picking up, right? So let me know. I have probably $2 million of stuff retail to offload including some of the most valuable pokemon sealed product i have shining legend sealed i have 
uh, ETBs of that. I have Dragon Majesty sealed ETBs of that. I, I just want to offload everything. I'm not going to hold on to. I have buttloads of celebration. When I mean buttloads of celebration, I mean I have probably two pallets of uh, Pikachu celebration, two pallets of the tins, uh, two pallets of the Charizard and Sylveon. And uh, yes, I just want to remove them from my home. So if you guys want to do a bigger deal around that and you're ready to pick them up, they're all sealed, all perfect condition. I take really good care of my products. I also have uh, booster boxes of Lost Thunder, cases of that stuff. I have cases of Weiss. I'm looking behind me. I got obviously any magic booster box that Alpha Investment has sold you guys. I have times a ton. I have New Phyrexia, I have a case of New Phyrexia, I have a case of Meriden Besieged, I have a few boxes of Meriden, I have a case of 2020, 2012 Corset, looking behind me, Masters 25, War of the Sparks, multiple cases, holy shit, a ton of cases of War of the Sparks, Pharos, uh, Journey to Nyx, um, the only stuff I won't sell is the In Your Asset stuff, oh, uh, Magic Masters, Modern Masters? Uh, and and uh, a lot of collector's editions, a shit ton of collector's editions, all for 20%. You're not going to find a price cheaper than that. I honestly could just sell in TCG Player if I wasn't so lazy and get about that price after shipping and free, like, you do free shipping and so on. Yeah, that's the deal.